Hola chicos, bienvenidos a otra lección. Welcome to another lecture. The lecture for today is las descripciones, descriptions, so adjectives. And before we move on to our next slide, I want you to think of two adjectives, right, to describe yourself. One physical care, uh, description and a personality description. So I want you to think about that, all right? Think about it. How would you describe yourself? How would you describe yourself? Would you describe as someone who's shy, um, who's really outgoing, uh, creative, um, athletic? Uh, maybe you are tall, maybe you are short, maybe you have long hair, short hair, right? So think about those type of descriptions. And this could be in English. So just think about two descriptions that you could use to describe yourself. A physical description and a personality description. Okay. Let me show you mine. Yo soy baja. Yo no soy alta. I'm not tall. Pero yo soy baja. I'm short. Yo soy baja. Yo soy morena. Sí, morena. Brown skin. Y tengo el cabello largo. Largo. Long hair. Personalidad, my personality. Yo soy trabajadora, estudiosa, y también soy creativa. Yo soy trabajadora, hardworking, estudiosa, studious, y también soy creativa. And also, right, uh, I am creative. So if you notice, in these descriptions, Yo soy baja, morena, trabajadora, estudiosa. The end in A, in creativa, right? That end in A, because again, I am describing myself and I'm a female, I'm female. And so the descriptions, the adjectives have to end in O and A. And if you remember from your tutorial video in Connect, when we talk about nouns, adjectives, numbers, right? The adjectives have to agree with the noun. In this case, I'm talking about myself. So when I'm describing myself, my descriptions or my adjectives have to agree with my gender. And so that's what we have in A, right? If it were a male, you would just say trabajador, estudioso, creativo, right? So that A would change to an O. Um, again, baja, can change that to bajo, morena, moreno, right? To talk about a male um, who is short, who is brown skin, right? Um, y tengo el cabello largo. Tengo means I'm talking about my hair. I have, right? Or my hair is long. I have long hair. El cabello largo. My, the hair, right? Long hair. Now, you've probably used the word or the phrase el cabello for hair, or you could also use el pelo, okay? That means hair, el pelo. So el cabello or el pelo, whatever feels more comfortable to you, you can use that. Um, this is what I'm using for this example, but I also use el pelo, el pelo largo, okay? So como es ella? So we'll look at some examples. Como es ella? Right? How is she like to describe her physical descriptions or her physical appearance? Right? Ella, first of all, ella is Shakira. She's Shakira. Sí. Ella es delgada, baja, y tiene el cabello rizado. Ella es delgada, she's thin or slim, baja, like myself, she's short too. Y tiene el cabello rizado. And she has curly hair, right? Tiene. Notice how that word tiene changes because we're talking about her, right? When we're talking about ourselves, in the first person, tengo. In this case, we're talking about Shakira. And Shakira tiene. She has, okay? El cabello rizado. So we have a couple of um, 
ways to describe hair. Cabello. Okay. Cabello. One of them is largo, which is long. The other one is rizado, which is curly. ¿Cómo es ella? Again, her physical description. Ella es Taylor Swift. Ella es rubia. Rubia. Blonde. Es alta. No es baja, like Rofe or Shakira. Ella es alta. Tall. Así. Y tiene, again, ella, she has. Ella tiene el cabello corto. El cabello corto. We have corto. The opposite of largo is corto. See? So you get that? The opposite of long is short. Corto. ¿Cómo es ella? ¿Sí? Ella es Simone Biles. Ella es musculosa. Musculosa. Look at her muscles. See? ¿sí? Es musculosa. Baja. También she's short. Y tiene el cabello corto. Again, she has short hair. ¿Cómo es él? Él es Spider-Man. <laughs> él es bajo, short, guapo. This is a new one. Guapo. Guapo means handsome. Sí. Y tiene el cabello o el pelo ondulado. So, to describe hair, tenemos largo, which is long, corto, rizado, really, really curly, and ondulado. So, tiene el pelo ondulado, like wavy, ¿sí? Wavy hair. So, if you have wavy hair, you have el cabello ondulado. Some people use ondulado for curly hair, like when you curl your hair. It just depends, um, but you can describe it. Ondulado for wavy hair. Vale? So, ¿cómo eres tú? So, think of physical and personality descriptions. And for this, you can go to page 20. And we'll look at it, actually. Let me pull it up for you. We'll go to page 20. Tenemos las descripciones, ¿sí? ¿Cómo eres tú? So, let's read more on the adjectives before we continue with that activity of you describing yourself. So, let's listen to this conversation and see if you can uh, identify or understand how they are describing themselves, ¿vale? So, let's listen. Let's take a listen. Let's listen. Soy delgada. Tengo el pelo rubio. Okay, so she's describing herself. Soy delgada. Remember, delgada is slim or thin. Soy delgada. Tengo el pelo rubio. Because she's describing herself, she's using tengo. Tengo el pelo rubio. Rubio means blonde hair. Y llevo una camisa azul. Now, this is where they start talking about the clothing. See? Describing what they're wearing. Y llevo una camisa azul. I have a blue shirt. Llevo, can, you, instead of llevo, you can also, uh, you're also going to hear people say, y tengo una camisa azul. So, tengo puesta una camisa azul, right? Um, again, tengo una camisa azul, and I have. But when you say you're wearing it, y llevo una camisa azul. And she's asking, ¿cómo eres tú? Now, how, how are you? Describe yourself, right? Let's listen to the second person. Mm. Soy de estatura mediana. So we know que baja o bajo means short. Sabemos que alto o alta means tall. Estatura mediana no es short. It's not tall. It's like average height in the middle. ¿sí? De estatura mediana. So estatura is height. ¿sí? Soy de estatura mediana. So if you're not tall, if you're not short, you're average. ¿sí? You would say, soy de estatura mediana when referring to your 
a height. Right? Y tengo el pelo, again, ¿sí? Tengo el pelo castaño. So again, pelo en cabello, they mean the same thing. You can use whatever you can pronounce better, whatever comes to mind first, cabello o pelo. Y tengo el pelo castaño. Right? So castaño is like brown hair or brunette. Okay. Um, I do I did have a student who was asking me, well, how come we can't use castaño to describe like our the color of our eyes, right? Because castaño means like brown. Well, yeah, well, castaño is only used to describe your hair color, just for the hair. Right? If you are describing your eyes, you can say café. But also if castaño is to big of a word for you to remember, you can also say, tengo el pelo café, right? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a phrase that we use um, for brunette, right? Because you can say, oh, I'm a brunette or I have brown hair, right? You can say both. Um, so just, it really depends up uh, to you what you want to use, okay? So el pelo castaño, right? Like brown hair. Um, no muy largo. So we have largo, and we know that from our examples earlier, that largo means long. Right? Corto means short, but she says no muy largo, not too long. So she has like medium length hair. Okay. So we know those types of adjectives. Now, if you keep looking here, we have a couple of people that will go over them and we'll look, we'll go over the adjectives. So firstly, we're going to look at Roberto, right? Roberto es un chico o un muchacho. He's a young man, right? A oh, young dude. Roberto, un chico, o un muchacho. Young man, young dude, you can use un chico or un muchacho. You usually refer to you guys as chicos, right? Young people, young men, or class students, right? Um, un chico o un muchacho is how we would describe Roberto. Let's listen to the adjectives for Roberto. Okay, so some of, some of these adjectives, you're going to be able to recognize them because they're cognates. And so they really, like, they look like uh, the adjectives in English that we have. So, Roberto is alto. Again, we know alto. Delgado. So remember, we know we talked about Shakira, Taylor Swift, um, that there are delgadas, right? They're thin or slim. They're skinny. Delgado, again. The O, because we're talking about Roberto, it's a male. So delgado, moreno, remember when I uh, described myself as morena, right? Brown skin, right? A morena, he's moreno. Yeah? Atletico, athletic, y fuerte, strong, okay? Now we have el señor López. And el señor Remember from our previous lecture, Señor is Mr. López, right? Someone who's a little bit older, doesn't look too old, but he's still El Señor López. And he's a man, un hombre. Let's see how they describe him. Yes. So El Señor López es alto, guapo. Remember that word, guapo, handsome. Remember Spider-Man, right? He's handsome, is guapo. Uh, y tiene el pelo ondulado. Again, el pelo rizado. Does he have curly hair? Does he have, uh, does he have straight hair? O pelo, um, pelo largo o pelo corto? He has short hair. But they're describing his hair as ondulado. Wavy hair. Vale? And then we have Raulito, que es un niño, y Tania, una niña, right? So, un niño, a boy, una niña, a girl. Let's see how they describe Raulito. Mm, okay. So, Raulito is bajo, is short, thin, bajo. Raulito. Es rubio, 
again, blonde, rubio. Tiene el pelo corto, si es short hair, y lacio, right? No lo tiene ondulado. He doesn't have ondulado here. He doesn't have wavy hair. Lo tiene lacy. That means straight hair. So if you have straight hair, you're going to describe your hair as, hair as lacy. Okay. Tania. So Tania is a girl that's pretty, bonita. Tiene el pelo rizado, curly hair. And what was the last one they used? She said they have, she has long hair in comparison to Raulito. She has a little bit of long hair. And tiene el pelo rizado, again, curly hair, okay? So tenemos a un muchacho, un hombre, un niño, una niña. But look here, we have el señor Rosales. Again, otro señor, right? El señor Rosales, que también es un hombre. He's also a man. Let's see how they describe him. Yes. Okay, so el señor Rosales es un hombre, he's a man, bajo. They describe him as gordo, as fat. However, I do not, I don't like to use the word fat just because I think it's used really badly in our society. Um, but you can use gordito, right? Like how we say chubby, right? To describe someone. Um, so you would add the I-T-O instead of the O. Gordito o gordita, depending on who you're describing. Elegante, that's a cognate. Again, elegante, elegant. El pelo canoso. So how are they describing? How do you think they're describing his hair? Right? We know el pelo. Right? How are they describing him? They're describing him. El pelo canoso. It means he has white hair. He's older. Older people have white hair. El pelo canoso. All right. Tiene el bigote, so you have a bigote, right? Bigote goes here. La barba, if you have barba. And then this is describing his suit, el traje, right? And we'll talk about um, types of clothing in the other video. Now we have la señora Mendoza, que es una mujer, right? We have el señor Rosales, la Señora Mendoza says, so, so, see how all the articles have to agree with the gender. El, la, señor, señora, right? Yes, all right, so tenemos a la señora Mendoza, que es una mujer, is a woman. They describe her height as estatura mediana. Just like this person, right? Soy de estatura mediana. So remember, what does that mean? Is that alta? Is she a uh, tall? Is she short? Or is she average? The estatura mediana is average. See, average height. Uh, they also describe her as vieja, as old, right? Just like him. So if she's old, he's old, right? So we would describe her as vieja. We would describe him as viejo, right? But if you want to make it cuter, you know, if you don't want to call your mom viejita, right, vieja, you can call her viejita or viejito, right? Or just to make it cuter, that ito, ita at the end makes things cuter, right? So vieja o vieja o viejita. And she's wearing los lentes, glasses. Let's look at Jimena, que es una chica o una muchacha, right? Roberto, un chico, un muchacho. Jimena. Una chica, una muchacha. Okay, so Jimena es una muchacha, joven. It's the opposite of vieja. So if vieja means old, what's the opposite of old? Young, okay. So joven. If you're joven, 
you describe yourself as joven, right? Young, alta, right? So it's alta. Tiene el pelo castaño. So the color of the hair is castaño. Largo, largo, y lacio, and straight, okay? And then lastly, we have Okay, so we don't know who's under this bank, whether it's a boy or girl, but they're describing this picture as feo or fea, right? So if it's a boy, you say feo, ugly, fea, ugly. Again, everything has a gender, it's either male or female, vale? And so with those descriptions, we have some of these descriptions that you can use to describe yourself. And then we also have on the next page here, um, page 22, you have words to describe your personality. So we have agresivo. Agresivo o agresiva. Um, aggressive, right? Antipático, antipática. Again, they have the O or an A depending on the gender. Conservador, conservadora. Uh, considerado, considerada. Creativo o creativa. Difícil, if you're a difficult person, egocéntrico, egocéntrica, entusiasta. So you can go on your e-text and just like play these so you can so you can hear how they're pronounced. Okay. Now if there's a word like temperamental, that's super long. Um, and you're having you're struggling with the pronunciation, break them down into syllables, okay? And then practice for a few times before you try to say the whole word, uh, the whole word at, at once, okay? So tempera, temperamental, temperamental, tempe, and then go slowly, tempe, tempera, 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 oh, temperament, tem Tempera, tempera, temperamen, temperamen, temperamental. And so if you're having, it works with any of the words, break them down into syllables, chop them up, and then try to pronounce them together, okay? And so you have that list for you to be able to complete the assignment of como eres tu? And you have this, this is another post of the discussion where you're going to describe yourself in a paragraph format. Now, the instructions are going to be for you where you're going to see other questions, like, ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? Uh, ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? And so those questions, along with this question, ¿Cómo eres tú? is going to be included. You're going to write them in Espanol, right? Because we know how to write those in Spanish. We know how to respond to those questions in Espanol. Uh, and you're going to format them into a paragraph style. So if I have one, two, three, four, five questions, right? Question one, question two, I'm going to say, please answer the following questions in your paragraph. Hence, paragraph, okay? The way you answer, I don't want you to give me a list. Okay, number one, number two, number three, and then just answer them with bien o me, not even say me llamo, just put Nancy, right? You have to enter complete sentences and in a paragraph format, not a list, all right? So make sure you are looking at the instructions and the rubric because there is a rubric attached for this assignment. And you're going to be using the adjectives that we've learned in this lecture. And you can use the adjectives that you have on your textbook to be able to complete this assignment. Again, if you have questions regarding the adjectives, please let me know and I will help you again. I have office hours on Tuesday and Thursdays from 11 to, uh, to 2 on Tuesday and on Thursdays, 11 to 1. Let me know if I can help you in some way. You can come and we can work on that together. Again, assignments are due Monday at 11.59. And so with that, this is the ending, the end of our lecture, of this lecture. Uh, continue to our next lecture to learn more about clothing. Okay, chicos. Hasta luego. Chao.